Now let's go to the second uh, type of item analysis and it is the item discrimination. It is the degree to which an item discriminates between students of high and low achievements. Items with good di discrimination improve the assessment's ability to discriminate between participants of different ability levels. Difficult items tend to discriminate between those who know and those who do not know the answer. Items with low or negative discrimination lower the reliability of the assessment or threaten validity of the results. I'll explain this point further in a short while. Uh, obviously, it is expected that high performers are more likely to answer good items correctly as compared to low performers who would uh, uh, answer incorrectly. Now, again, the discrimination index can be calculated or is usually calculated by the software in uh, optical reader. But to understand that how it is calculated and how it's utilized, let's look at these few slides. If we want to calculate it uh, manually, then we arrange the scores marks in order from highest to lowest. So all the marks which have, uh, we put them in this order. And then we identify the higher group and the lower group. Higher group means 27% of the students on the upper side and lower uh, means that 27% on from the bottom. So 27% from the top would make the higher group and 27% from the bottom would make the uh, lower group. So remaining 46% middle students are not included in this analysis. So if we take the same example of 110 um, uh, students, the 27% uh, would make roughly 30 students. So here we are talking about 30 students from the top and 30 students uh, from the bottom. So this is the formula to calculate the number of students who answered that particular items correctly in the higher group minus number of students who answered I that item correctly in the lower group and then divided by number of students in higher or lower group because that number is same. In our example, here because there are 30, we calculated the 30 students. So there would be 30 students in higher group, 30 students in the lower group. So all 30 students in the higher group got the answer correct, while none of the 30 students in the lower group got it correct. If that is the situation, the discrimination index would be one. That is 30 minus zero over 30 is, is one. That means the uh, very high discrimination. In another situation, if 20 students in the higher group got the answer correct, while 10 students in the lower group got it correct, then 20 minus 10 divided by 30. So here, uh, discrimination index would be 0.33. On the other hand, if 20 students in the higher group got the answer correct, while 26 in the lower group, this means that the students in the lower group uh, are answering more correctly than the higher group. In this case, the discrimination would uh, come up in the negative. So how to interpret the discrimination index? For example, if the discrimination index is 0.19 and there are 30 uh, students in the group. So 0.19 times 30 makes around six students. This means that six students in uh, more, uh, six more high group students got the answer correct than as compared to a lower group. If 
the uh, discrimination index is 0.33, that would mean that 10 more students in the higher uh, group answered uh, correctly as compared to lower group. On the other hand, if the discrimination index is in negative, this means that the lower group students are answering uh, uh, correctly as compared to higher groups, so there must be something wrong. Uh, with, with the question. So how to use discrimination uh, index? The general guidelines, if the discrimination index is negative, so that, that item should be not used, should be rejected as more higher group students are, are uh, uh, the more lower group students are, are answering correctly. If it is up to 0.19, these are poor items and they should, um, either they should be rejected or they should be improved. If it is 0.2 to 0.29, then this is marginal. They are acceptable items, but still they need some improvement. And if it is up to 0.39, then they are reasonably good. And if it's uh, 0.4 and above, then they are very good uh, 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 items. Now, the usefulness of this is that by looking at the difficulty index and discrimination index, we can choose good uh, items, good questions from the examination, and they can be uh, placed in the question bank. And at the same time, we can identify the questions which need improvement. So we can work on this, uh, those questions and improve them for future use. High discrimination of an item indicates students with high scores uh, did the item correct, whereas students with low score got it incorrect. And if it is uh, low discrimination or negative discrimination, then it would be uh, vice versa. Uh, 